Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. For this video, we are going to discuss mind test 2.2b. This is from 3 standard form. So, question number 1. Calculate the value of each of the following operations. State your answer in standard form. So, for A, so I'm going to use pen. Okay. Okay, for question A, since both are in equal value here, negative 4, and to, sorry, 10 to the power 4 and 10 to the power of 4. So, we just add the number 2.4 plus 3.57 in a bracket. So, this is the final answer for A. For B, both also in 10 to the power of negative 6. So, we just minus the two number in a bracket. So, this is the answer for B already in standard form. So, question C. Same question, a uh, same method. Okay, since this is 10 to the power, both are 10 to the power of 7. So, we just add the two number in a bracket. When we add this two number, it become 10.1 times 10 to the power of 7. As you can see, this is not in standard form. So, we have to change this to standard form first. It become 1.0 to 1 times 10 to the power of 8. It's actually 10.1. We change to standard form. Yeah, it's equals to to 1.021 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 7. So we can use law of indices for this for this number. So 1 plus 7 equals to 8. So the final answer will be 1.021 times 10 to the power of 8. Okay, have a look at question D. So, this is 10 to the power of 5. This is 10 to the power of 4. We have to do something for either one of these. So, here, I change 1.2 to... 10 to the power of 4. Okay. How I get this? This is actually 1.2 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 4. Okay. So, when we pass the number 1 plus 4, it becomes 5. So, 1.2 times 10 to the power of 1 equals to 12. Okay, now both are times 10 to the power of 4. So we can uh, plus these two number. So it become 15.74. This is not in standard form. So first we have to change this to standard form. It become 1.574 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 4. This is remain and change. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. So, the final answer will be 1.574 times 10 to the power of 5. Next, question E. Okay, so this is time, times 10 to the power of 8. This is times 10 to the power of 7. So, I change this. So, 5.7 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, 5.1 times 10 to the power of 1 equals to 57. So, 
So both are times 10 to the power of 7. So we can minus this number in the bracket. And this is, uh, this is the answer when we minus 57 with 2.4. So this is not in standard form. So change this to 5.46. Times 10 to the power of 1. Okay, times 10 to the power of 7, it becomes 1 plus 7, so 8. So, this is the final answer for E. Question F, same as previous question. So, both are not equal to... I change this, change this to, change the second number to 8.0102 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so 8.02 times 10 to the power of 1 equals to 80.2. Now both are times 10 to the power of 3. So we can add these two numbers in the bracket. So it becomes like this. So this number, this number change to standard form. It becomes 8.5659. Sorry, times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 3. So the final answer will be 8.59 times 10 to the power of 4. 1 plus 3 equals to 4. Next, Christian G. So these two numbers are not equal. So I change this to 10 to the power of 3 which is 6.5 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 3. So 6.5 times 10 to the power of 1 equals to 65. Times 10 to the power of 3 minus 7.3 times 10. This one, this number remain change. Okay, then both are equal value of this so we can minus the this two number in a bracket so become 57.7 actually for my solution i use method one if you use method two uh, it's okay uh, if your if your answer is like mine so uh, your solution is subtract. Okay, so 57.7, this one, change to standard form, it become 5.77 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 3. So the answer will be 5.77 times 10 to the power of Okay, next for H. Okay, this is for the negative number. So both are equal times 10 to the power of negative 3. So we just minus the number in a bracket. So this is already in standard form. So next for question I. Same, this is both are same. So we just minus the number in a bracket. So this is the final answer for i. For j, as you can see, these two numbers are not equal. So here, I change this to this. So this is actually... 9.5 
times n to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay, so when we plus 1 plus negative 4, it becomes negative 3. So 9.5 times 10 to the power of 1 equals to 95. Now both are equal value of 10 to the power of negative 4. So we just add these two number in a bracket. So it becomes 99.1 times 10 to times 10 to the power of negative 4. So change this to standard form. So it becomes 9.91 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Fine. So 1 plus negative 4 equals to negative 3. So this is the final answer for A. Okay, I hope you um, get this. So for question K, so if, as you can see, this is different from this. So I change this, change this number to this. It's actually 6.2 times 10 to the power of negative 1 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So negative 1 plus negative 5 equals to negative 4. So 6.2 times 10 to the power of negative 1 equals to 0 0.62. So since this is both the same number, so we just minus these two number in the bracket. So this is the final answer already in standard form. So for J, sorry for L, question L, I change this, this number to 7.35. Times 10 to the power of negative 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7. Sorry, negative 6. So that becomes negative 7. Negative 1 plus negative 7, 6 equals to negative 7. So 7.35 times 10 to the power of negative 1 equals to 0 0.735 um, okay for both K and I I use the method 2 if you remember from my previous video 3 so for this both question I use method 2 okay next since this is same so we just minus this number in a bracket. So this is the final answer already in standard form. So that's all for this video. Thank you and see you in the next video.